How you doing guys? It's Joe from Layton Sports Cards. Another back-to-back -back episode. For our week, we got two players from my collection, two favorite cards, I believe. These are great pickups of mine. Um, I'm gonna go with Jeff McNeil. Bowman First Auto from 2014. Jeff McNeil's a, uh, a good player for the New York Mets. Uh, he has been struggling, but he's been playing real great as of lately. And then I got another Bowman Chrome, Josh Lowe of your Tampa Bay Rays. I felt like this is a great card to have. Uh, it's a black to white, black and white mini diamond. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get right to it. Okay, for Mr. Josh Lowe of Tampa Bay. You can see here on his background and his Bowman briefing, Number 50 overall prospect from MLB.com as of 2023. Well, 2022. Yeah, I'll restart that so we cut that. All right, so we got Josh Lowe. 2022 Bowman Chrome. This one's 66 of 199, the black and white. It's a great card. Uh, first, we're going to see uh, what his resume is. Number 50 overall prospect, MLB.com. Single walk and stole a base and raised debut. Of this, uh, September 8th, uh, 2021. Two-time minor league <laughs> uh, baseball.com organization all-star. 2019 Southern League all-star as well. He's, uh, Josh Lowe is out of uh, Marietta, Georgia. Um, he went to Pope High School uh, as he actually got a couple of uh, local uh, awards when he played in Georgia. He, had, he was actually the senior uh, Gatorade player of the year for Georgia. And uh, there's actually like uh, some cool highlights of him in high school. He's a pretty good player. Uh, see of his skills here. It says finest defensive outfielder in organization in baseball America. Terrific athlete who gets up down down the line in a flash. Bergening power plus arm. So yeah, Josh Lowe is known for his outfield prowess. He uh, actually started as a third baseman and a pitcher uh, before he tra uh, moved out to the outfield. So he's got a great arm. He uh, he fits himself well out there. Um, now we can see in the up close. His father David played baseball and football at U.S. Uh, Naval Academy before serving as a pilot for 20 years, plays golf year round, took up cycling during the 2020 shutdown. Uh, actually, yeah, his uh, dad was uh, in the Naval Academy, but uh, he was actually drafted by the Mariners in the 86 draft, but he instead decided to go into uh, US Naval Academy and played golf there instead. Um, 20 years later, he was a pilot. <laughs> Who would have figured? All right, our second player, Mr. Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets. We can see back here, for his resume part, it's actually got the ac accents over his over the word resume here, which is weird because I don't know you don't you don't see it on the other cards, but they put it on here for some reason. Uh, we'll go right into it. So it says rank fourth in Appalachian League and an average in 2013 pro debut. Smoke right, he's at thir uh, 341 clip, whack 348 as a Long Beach State junior. I like how they use the word whacked. Uh, fans just 11 times in 221 at bats. Jeff O'Neill doesn't strike out a lot. He's a contact player. Um, he did struggle a lot this early season with strikeouts, but he's actually turned around and putting the ball into play a lot more. Um, he is out of uh, Santa Barbara, California. He is known as uh, Jeff McNicks, uh, Jeff McHits, um, <laughs> and the Flying Squirrel. He went to Napoma High School in California as a 2010. Um, he actually was a junior golfer before he trans uh, transferred over into baseball. So, like, he was an avid golfer. He could have been a semi-pro in golfing, but instead he chose baseball at the last minute and. Actually, was really good. He actually played some basketball on the side as well. He's a he's a multi athlete kind of guy. He's uh, very talented. Uh, so yeah, he went to Long Beach State uh, in Santa Barbara, and uh, yeah, he kind of made himself a little bit known with baseball after that. Um, we'll see what kind of uh, skills he's got here. It says attacks pitches with crisp line drive swing. So like just like a golf swing, you can see the way he plays baseball when he's at a bat. It's like a golf swing, and he's trying to like slap it to the field. Um, difficult to strike out, as we already know, has quick first step and good speed, reliable defender who can play middle infield or outfield, which is what the Mets are having him do. He has been playing all kinds of uh, positions, sometimes in the outfield, sometimes second base, maybe a, a you know late third base choice to replace. So he is very talented. Again, he played, grew up playing golf and basketball, so this guy is really talented. Um, now in the up close, it says outstanding junior golfer, also lettered in basketball, aver averaging 7.1 points, game as a prep senior didn't take up baseball until 2010 so like again he was <laughs> he had his first Bowman Chrome in 2014 and he didn't start baseball until four years before that so it's pretty impressive to be a pro play, uh, baseball player four years after taking up the sport 
So yeah, guys, we found some interesting things about these two players uh, going into a little review. Again, if you read the back of these ba uh, baseball cards, basketball cards, soccer cards, you learn about these people a little bit and you find out some interesting facts. If there's anything that you know of some players of your, of, of your liking and you want to share them with us, please put them in the comments and we can start digging into them a little bit more. I'll put them in our series. And uh, yeah, we'll keep picking out random cards from our shop and our collection and we try to put them together. Those are our two back-to-back -back this week. We'll be back at it again soon. This is Joe at Leighton Sports Goes.